welcome back to my channel so today I want to kind of do is a little bit different I want to do a shop my stash video I'm gonna try to do these on Sundays that way um, I'm able to rotate out my makeup that I have I can use for the week so I'm making weekly baskets um, so far this is what my basket will look like um, for my shop my stash weekly basket and the point of this video is for me to, um, like I said, rotate out my makeup so I can get use out of some of the makeup that I have that I have not even touched. Or makeup that I've loved and I can kind of bring it back to usage in my videos. So what I've done is just pulled out some things from each category. I may not have them all, but you will see me use these products. Um throughout the week until I rotate them back out. Some stuff I may or may not pull from, you know, but this is just a start for shopping my stash. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with some of the items I pulled out of my collection for this week. Now some items I did leave in here from last week because I'm just now getting used to trying to do this type of video um, and pulling stuff in and putting it back in my collection and pulling it out of my collection to use. So for starters, I'm gonna start with my moisturizer. So I wanna start back using this Simple Replenishing Moisturizer. And it's by Simple, cause I do have sensitive skin, so I have to be careful with what I put on my skin. So I'm gonna start back using this. I haven't used it in a very long time, but this is a really, really good um, replenishing rich moisturizer. So you'll see me use this. Uh, on my face and then I also pulled out my pure um, soak it up intense hydrating moisturizer now I used to use this all the time and I think I received it either if it wasn't Ipsy it was BoxyCharm but I used to use this all the time you can kind of see where it's kind of like dug out but I used to use it all the time so I was glad to pull this back out because this is a really really great product I'm not sure if they still sell it but I really do like it. Um, the next thing I have is this True and Luscious Flower Dose Plumping Lip and Eye Serum. I talked about this on my um, June BoxyCharm a couple of days ago when I posted the video. And I actually tried this over the weekend. And I'm not, I'm not sure if it's really a lip plumper or more like a, a lip oil. And the taste was like kind of, I don't know, like a medicine type taste, or maybe it was just me. But I'm gonna give it another. I'm gonna give it another go uh, when I do my makeup in the morning for work. But I definitely would not be using this for my eye. The way it tasted on my lips, I don't want to put it on my eye because again, I do have sensitive skin, so I'm kind of funny about what I actually put on my skin. But I'm definitely gonna give it a try again for my lips because, like I said, I think it's more of an oil rather than a lip plumper. Um, the next thing is, um, I've been loving my Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Oil, and it's for your face. Um, if you have not used this, this is a great, great product. And I use this like all the time, all the time, pretty much almost every day before I apply any moisturizer, any primer, or any foundation on my face. Um, I'm gonna try to switch it out because I did receive the skin um, skin supplement skin ink and my boxy charm but I've used it maybe twice and I still went back to this one but I'm gonna probably rotate this one out for next week but since we're talking about this week this is one of the products that I just have not taken out of my basket but I'm definitely gonna try to find some other products to kind of uh, use since I'm doing these shop my stashes if I have it in my collection to alternate so again if you haven't tried this um, it's on Amazon I think for about eight or nine dollars but it's strictly for your face and it's really really good for your face the next thing I've taken out is my Mario Badescu skincare facial spray and I have the one with the aloe herbs and rose water I used to use this like every day and I have a couple of small ones when I purchased they were like gonna uh, try out a a, a travel set, not a trial, a travel set. I think it had about three or four different fragrances. Um, but this one I pulled out 
because I used to love it and I love to spray my face before I put any oils and thing on it and then after to kind of set it so I'm glad I took this back out I used to use like all the time like all the time okay so moving on to my foundations now I always take out about three or four foundations because I tend to mix my foundations based on the time of the year or the, the brand of the foundation because some foundations are a little gold or a little warmer uh, some a little lighter some a little darker so I tend to just kind of mix until I get the shade that I like so I took out my infallible pros I have not used these in forever but when I use these I mix these two two shades here um, and you have what shade is this one soft sable and then you have natural buff these two shades together makes the perfect shade for my skin tone so I have not used this in like forever so I'm glad to take this out <laughs> to see if I still love it like I did back then because I haven't used it like in over a year or so and I think it's because I've been loving what's in my basket now and I'm definitely going to rotate out because all of these are almost like literally empty um, my Tarte Double Beauty Double do the beauty in the shade tan honey. This is almost empty, so I can't wait to have another sale so I can actually purchase another one. And then I have the Milani foundation and concealer two in one in medium beige. Now I mix these two together. I'll put this one on my face first and then kind of go on top of it with this one. And then when I blend it with my brush, it gives me that perfect um, medium, medium beige. Um, and I have a neutral undertone. So it gives that pretty, pretty neutral beige undertone that I like. And then I'll go in with my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer, which is this one here. And I think this one is in the shade uh, Neutral. And I like this one to highlight uh, in my highlight areas under my eyes and on my chin and a little bit on my forehead. And then I'll, I'll sometimes, I'll, I'll, a lot of times I'll use it with this. These two are used to highlight. So I definitely got to rotate, you know, in my stash to keep from using the same foundations. Because I, I would not switch foundations. If it works for me, I'm going to stick with it because it looks good. Um, and then another foundation I've been loving to mix with those as well is my Super Stay Better Skin by Maybelline. If you haven't tried this foundation, it is a really, really good foundation. Um, and I have this one in the shade, I believe Warm Honey. Yeah warm honey this is a nice um foundation it's a little bit dark for my skin tone but again i mix it with my warm beige my medium beige what if i have to kind of tone it down just a bit to keep it on the neutral side uh it works for me so moving along for my primer this week i pulled out my ulta matte prime um professional and i used to use this all the time you can tell by the packaging i really just use it all the time so I'm excited to pull this <laughs> this one back out as well. So I'm really glad I'm kind of getting into these videos because it's like you just use what's in front of you and I would never go back to what I have stored. So that kind of, like I said, give me an opportunity to just dig, dig, dig deep into what I already have. So I'm glad to pull this out for a primer this week. And also I pulled out my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Now, I used to use this one all the time as well. And you can kind of see why I dug into that. But it's a really good primer as well. It's really a really good mattifying primer. Um, and I also bought the the all white one. That's a matte one. I haven't used it yet. I may use that one in my basket for next week. Uh, moving along. So, I pulled out these two NYX. Um bright idea illuminating sticks that I like to contour with and these are the two sticks these are some really really good contour sticks if you wanna if you're just starting to contour or if you don't know I mean just like a, a beginners friendly contour is really blendable and I have these two shades because I like to mix both of them I'll put the deeper one darker one down first and then I kind of go over with the more um, bronzy tone one and this one's in Topaz Tan, and this one's in Sandy Glow. Like I said, both of them look good together. They give that really nice 
you know, contoured out shape of your face when you don't want it to look flat. So um, I kind of start slipping on these. Don't know why. Again, like I said, I'm glad I just kind of <laughs> did this, started this, um, shot my stash because they would have still been sitting over there where they've been housed at for the last year or so. Um, the next items I have, I'll um, say my concealers. Um, I have this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, which I really, really like. Now, I like to use this on my eyelids as a primer. Um, I don't so much use it under my eyes because um, sometimes it can dry out. And with me being over 40, I have to make sure I'm using the right product so it won't be really, really cakey. Um, up under my eye, I know a lot of it I can't control, but I can control how dry it looks. And then I have my Age Rewind um, corrector use it. I'm trying to find the shade. Okay, in Sable. And this would used to be like my really, 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 really favorite go-to. Um, so I'm glad I pulled this one back out as well. And you're going to hear me say it a lot in this video because I'm really am excited and glad that I pulled this stuff back out of my stash. Because it's so easy to go and purchase new products um, rather than using what you have. So I'm trying to get there. Not 100% there yet. But I'm trying to get there and just kind of like use what I already have. So the next thing I pulled out is my Kat Von D Locket Concealer. Now, you know, if this tube looks like this, it's really, really um, a way throwback. So I pulled this out. Now, I actually was trying to save it. <laughs> I don't know why. Because I knew when they were discontinuing it, I was not going to be able to find it anymore. But this was like my go-to Conceal and it does exactly what it says lock it in and I used to always use it to carve out my brows um, The next one is the uh, camouflage hard candy concealer the heavy-duty This is another one. that's like really really great and I know they changed the Packaging, but I'm not sure if they changed the formula. I have to check one or two of them out, but camouflage by um, Hard candy this is another great 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 Concealer. I know a couple of YouTube videos I looked at a couple of years ago, and I don't quote me, but I believe they were saying this was a dupe for a MAC concealer, but it's really it really is a heavy duty concealer. So I pulled that back out. Um, and also I pulled out this is not an old product, it's really, really new, but I just stuck it in my shop my stage video anyway because I want to try it. And it's the Milani. Uh, supercharged brightening under eye tint and I have it in the shade peach I'm gonna try it tomorrow and see how it um, does on my skin I've, I've been seeing a lot of reviews on it good reviews so when I went into my local Ulta I picked one up just out of curiosity to see how it'll work for me so this is actually a new item it's not an item that was already in my stash but it's a new item um, so now, I put down my BH Base Booster. <laughs> you know, I'm always ranting and raving about that Base Booster. Um, and replaced it with this Hard Candy Glitter Stay for popping pigments. And then my Smolder Cosmetics Dazzle Lock. Both of these are like way, way, way throwbacks. I don't even think Smolder Cosmetics exist anymore. But um, I did want to try this out again because I've used it a couple of times, like I said, in the past. And we're going to see how it's going to work for me because my base boost is my baby. But we're going to see how that works. Um, now for my eye primer. This is going to be my challenge for me this week. It's going to be a real challenge for me this week. I put up my Playing in Makeup by Yolanda <laughs> Eyeshadow Base Foundation Base. I don't know what I'm going to do because I love that stuff. I love it. It's kind of like a dupe to me. I ain't going to say a dupe. It's, it, the formula is like in line with P. Louise. I'm not even going to say a dupe because it's like a great, great, great primer. But I pulled this. I actually pulled out this putty eye primer. Uh, it looks like this. I have never used this. I'm not sure what to expect. But we'll see. So let me just rub my finger in here because I don't want any surprises in the morning when I get up to <laughs> do my makeup. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay, so I don't know. We'll see. I may have to sacrifice with those concealers I have, but I'm going to try to be old faithful. <laughs> 
and not pull out that, that Plan and Makeup by Yolanda eye primer. We'll see how it goes. The next thing I um, took out um, is this Essence Lash Princess False Lash Mascara. I like this mascara. It's a really, really nice mascara. But I pulled, and I also pulled out this Luna Magic, um, the one I spoke about in my June boxy charm that I saw I was interested in seeing how this primer works. So I actually stuck this in here. This is also a new product in my collection. But I'm going to use these two together to see how they work on my eyelashes. Um, the next thing I pulled out is my um, lash glue. Now, here's the deal with my lash glue. Um, if you have not tried the Magic Lash Adhesive, the CAT brand, this one here, then you are slipping. <laughs> this lash glue, glue right here is like my all-time favorite, like my favorite. This have my lashes on all day long until you literally pull them off. I can't speak enough for this. If you want to try it out, it's on camera, Ready Cosmetics, and it's $7 for this tube. And it's the um, cat brand, C-A-T. Can't speak enough of this. Try it for yourself. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you're a lash type girl. And let me know your thoughts on it if you decide to purchase it for $7, you know, like I said. But I'm going to rotate out this week. And with my one of my other favorites is the Duo. But like I said, since I've been using that one, hands down, I have not been using any other glue to stick my lashes on with. But it shot my stash. So I'm going to make some exceptions. And try these two glues if i use them together i'm going to try them so i have the duo quick set strip glue this is a it dries really really fast this is actually a pretty good glue um but i've never tried this super stronghold by kiss i envy now it was recommended when i was at the hair store um looking for lashes and it was recommended that i try this because it was a you know a popular sale in the actual beauty store that i went into so that was how I picked that one up. But we're going to see how it works and I'll let you guys know how that lash glue works. Um, then I pulled out the Essence Make Me Brow Mascara Gel. And this is in the shade Ashy Brows. Now, it looks grayish, ashy. -ish. Yes, and I bought, it this, um, bought this color intentionally. Uh, because when I do my brows, I love to use my Morphe pencil. This has been like my latest go-to pencil for my um, brows and this is in the color cold brew now sometimes I tend to to uh, outline and put my brows on a bit darker than I normally would like them so this kind of give them an ashy kind of toned down look so that's why you'll see me use these two together now my eyeliner that I've been loving and um my go-to is the Maybelline Define Align uh, Ebony Black. This right here is like my go-to liner, black. Now, I have my perversion that I love by Urban Decay, um, but this one here is glides on so, 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 so smooth, and it stays on. Now, sometimes you'll catch it or run, but <laughs> I still like it. <laughs> but this is a good, good eyeliner. Doesn't take a whole lot of pressing and pulling on your eyes. Okay, so for my lips, um, I'm gonna stick with this Lano Lips Tinted Lip Balm, and this is in the shade Rose. This is a good formula, you know, to hydrate your lips and stuff. So I'll be using it in the mornings when I'm getting ready, because I like to kind of prime my lips as well when they're not dry. I tend to use oil or lip gloss, but I really want to try this lip balm out again because I used to use it all the time okay so now we're going to move on to bronzing now I pulled out these three pieces here from Juvia's place um, and this is the tan bronzing palette which I've used this one a couple of times and I really really do like it I really really do like it now I, I only pulled out the medium just in case um, 
I wanted to use it. Not 100% sure, but I did take it out to use it. I don't know if it's more, I don't, I don't think it's going to be more of a bronzer shade. Maybe like a crease shade or something like that. But we'll see how I use it. But I definitely like the tan one. Now, I and also I put out this Volume 2 Blush Rouge um, palette. I've never used this. I've had it for, since it came out. But I've never used it because I had been using the Serafina by Juvia's Place. But we'll see how this blush works. And I, and I like it because it has two different, a deeper and a lighter tone that I can kind of swap up or mix together depending on the look that I'm doing that day for work. So I'm excited about using them because I have not used them at all yet. Um, and I'm also going to keep a couple of more items out as far as the bronzing section go because sometimes I contour, sometimes it's just bronze. It just depends on um, how much time I have in the mornings. And what look I'm trying to do. So I'm going to leave out this Black Radiant Soft Focus um, Finishing Powder. And it's in the shade Milk Chocolate. And I've been using this for a little while. And I really like it. I haven't hit pan on it yet. But this is a really nice um, bronzing color to bronze with. I really like it on top of my foundations. Now the other one I've been using like on repeat. Like, like there's no other bronzer out there. <laughs> And that's the Black Radiance Pressed Powder. And all those are pressed powder. I've been using it as a bronzer. And it's in the shade uh, Golden Almond. And this is what it looks like. I really killed this thing. I have dogged it all the way out. Poor thingy. Now, if it wants to hit pan, I hit pan. But I really, really do like this. So I'm really, really uh, looking forward to using other bronzers in my collection. So I can give this baby... A break and it's old but that's okay um, the next thing I'm gonna be using for highlighting is the soft and gentle mineralized skin finish by Mac now I used to use this all the time I don't know why I stopped yes I do yes I do purchasing more makeup that's how I stopped and then you forget you have the items in your collection so it's really really easy to forget but I'm definitely I'm excited about this. This is like a really, really subtle highlight. It's not really um, deep and dark, but it's really pretty on your skin. And you can see there, it's like really, really pretty. So, this is going to have some use this week. Now, I'm going to leave my one favorite product that's in my collection. As you'll probably see in most of my weekly stash baskets until I find something better. Not saying I don't have it already in my collection, but... It's just, uh, when I'm getting ready for work in the morning, a lot of my videos will be filmed with me getting ready in the morning. So I try to keep some of the products that, that I'm not just testing while I haven't used or um, trying to figure it out. So uh, some stuff I'm going to actually be done tested before I probably stick it in this basket because I don't want any, any surprises when I have to go to work. Is this uh, e.l.f. Total Face Palette. I pretty much use <laughs> two shades in here these two and that's only because I use them mainly when I'm doing eyeshadows and kind of like um filling the top part up to my brow bone where it's not a gap and you'll hear me say that a lot in my videos now the last products that I pulled out um for my I'm sorry about that noise for my stash are eyeshadow palettes now I'm a sucker like a real super duper sucker for eyeshadow palettes uh, don't be surprised if I switch them out. <laughs> I'm going to try my best not to. But um, I decided to keep the Sydney Grace in my weekly stash. Only because I wanted to do uh, other, other looks with the other two palettes. I don't know if I'm going to make it around this. It just depends on what I'm wearing um, or what I'm trying to, you know, look I'm trying to achieve. So I'm definitely going to keep these three out. But I'm going to try my best to use the other two uh, if I decide to use them during the week. So we're going to do that. I'm going to definitely uh, keep that in mind when I um, make my video and do my eyeshadows. Now I've pulled out three additional palettes. Um, one would be the Jackie Aina. Now, I love this palette. I used this palette again um, about a week 
week or two ago and I forgot how beautiful these colors are and they're really really pigmented really really pigmented now I did a look with um, this purple and that purple and those were the only two shades um, I had on my eye and it was like the most beautiful look I had like so many compliments at work when I wore this uh, shade underneath and layered it with the um, um, Shookington and Big Wig was under the underneath. It was like the most beautiful eyeshadow look I had done and I should have filmed it. But this palette right here is so pretty and the color Sponsored. I used that uh, I believe last week with edges. Uh, on, on my transition because when I'm going to work a lot of times I'm going to like two shades it very seldom is maybe three but no more than that because I'm trying to hurry up and get out the door but this palette is like so versatile you can do so many looks with this palette and I believe right now it's on sale for Anastasia on Anastasia's website for $31 I believe now the other palette I pulled out is the Kat Von D 10th I believe it's the 10th 10th anniversary eyeshadow palette now this is what it looks like and I pulled it out don't know why but I pulled it out because I wanted to play with like an older eyeshadow palette and that had like everyday colors but still fun pops of colors that you can actually use on top of some of these mattes now this is what the palette looks like really really pretty colors and I've used this maybe like three times but I really 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 do like it when I use it the form is really good in here so I don't think that's gonna give me any trouble in the mornings getting ready for work either but um we will see and this is the packaging on that palette so I am super excited to pull this baby out now I may use it in the morning I'm gonna try my best to film a look in the morning so you all will see that I'm using what I pulled out of my stash. Now, this last palette and my last item in my shop, my stash, is this Profusion Sienna's palette. I believe everybody probably owns this palette. If not, then I think you should probably pick it up. I think it's, it's $10, I believe, maybe in Walmart. But on their website right now, I think it is today, they have a 35% off. Um, for the 4th of July um, so I'm not sure what it exactly make the price be but I know it'll be below $10 but this palette is like so pretty this palette you can do a lot of this palette you get the right primers or the right base the colors work okay the colors work they really work for me because um, I want to say last week because I'm always using different I should all the week before last because what all the looks I'm talking about it was within the last two weeks I used this palette and I'm always pretty much loving um, monochromatic type looks when I'm going to work. Because it's that much easier to do in the mornings. Um, I think I used, I used Madly. Um, I used Madly Outspoken. And then I used this color Bite on my lid. Let me show you. Look at that. I got to show you up close. Look at that shimmer. It was so pretty on my lids. So, um, Profusion, again, has some great shadows. They can be hit or miss, but this palette here is an awesome palette. So, if you haven't tried them out, try them out. Like I said, if you get a good primer or a good eyeshadow base, it will work for you. So, that is what I have in my weekly basket for this week. Uh, I'm going to try to do them on a weekly. I may or may not have time, but I'm going to do my best to do them. If not, then we'll just kind of see as I go during the week what I'm playing with. But for now, I think that's how it's going to work for me until I come up with um, some other type of way I want to do it. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. I, I hope you all had a great 4th of July because I did. It was my um, our grandbaby's third birthday on yesterday so we celebrated on Saturday so we've been like ah, all over the place and I wanted to get this video out yesterday but unfortunately we had fireworks you know we had you know we went to visit family so that's how my weekend went but I'm glad I was able to get on here do this shop my stash 
for you all. So I hope you like what you see. Um, can you like, uh, comment, like, and subscribe and become a part of my family? And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.